Howdy, Beautiful Bart here, and welcome. All right, somebody yesterday was asking me to do something with a first-person shooter, kind of as a you know tutorial series or videos or what have you. And I decided, okay, what the hell? Why not try? And okay, so here I am. So what I've decided to do was, before I look at that was use as much free content as possible. And I'm thinking about using this for interior. But, um, I have decided to use one of the free for the month items. And if you look in the free for the month, there is the FPS Assault Pack. If you don't have it, go ahead and get it. Same thing with the Phoenix Anim Pack 3. Just do it. It's good. Um, nice animations. If for no other reason, for the swim animations, they're really good. Um, the, yeah, I haven't looked at the others, because I haven't needed to. Then, um, essentially what I did was, see if I could find them amidst the mini. Since that one was free for the month, and I like it, um, decided, you know what the heck, I needed some more stuff, and I decided I was going to use the Military Character Silver. Um, it is free. It will say that it's only for uh, 421 and not compatible with other versions, but it is. It's not that great, but it's good enough. I'm going to be changing the characters out. I, I, there's some retargeting issues that um, just don't make them as nice as possible. Um, Good God, where is he? Thing here. Um, but with the weapons, the FPS assault pack, I was like, okay, this is nice. I can work with that. Turns out the FPS weapon bundle is also free and contains some of the things that was missing from the other one. So I mean, I could use the the weapons from this. I haven't yet. But I've been using the accessories. And it comes with um, a grenade, which will come in handy because there is a grenade throw set up in the other things so far. But it came with a nice rifle scope and a silencer and a red dot optic and grenade. These are going to be used. This and this is already being used right now, and I'll show you that in just a second. But I will set up the grenade to work and the scope right here to work. And all free. So. Once I put this in here, uh, I noticed that there was a regular M16A2 A2 style, and then there was one that had the carrying handle removed for use with optics and had a removable uh, flash shutter or a muzzle brake. So I went ahead and put in my own sound files and put some things in here and there. You can watch yesterday's video, it's kind of long, but got a lot accomplished in that short video. The crosshair that's on the screen right now is temporary. We set up the counter in the bottom right. You can see NMAG is zero now. And I'm going to have to do a reload. And I've already added some sound to the reload. And it updates your number of mags that you're carrying and your magazine capacity. So you can keep shooting. But also, it had a change weapon function that didn't do anything. So I made it do something, and I made it do this. Add a silencer. And I made it change the sound. And I'll cover how I did those. So if I hit the button again, take the suppressor back off. Sounds go back to normal. When you right click, it's a you know press and release deal instead of a toggle. But you get a nice little red dot optic, and I will be setting it up to where, on a key press, you'll be able to change it, just like you do with the suppressor. <coughs> Excuse me. So you'll be able to go back and forth between the suppressor and the regular muzzle brake, and the red dot optic, and you can do the, um, the actual scope. 
And what I may do is, a after I get the scope on, configured, and set up so that whenever you go into aim down sight mode or ADS mode, it hides the hands, the weapon, the scope, and just has a scope mask on the screen. And the scope mask is in my um, my Discord channel, BBG Demos page. And while you're zoomed in like this, maybe set it to where you can use your mouse wheel to increase or decrease the zoom. Yeah, we'll go from there. And on the is anything to say there? The demo map just playing around, made at night time. Since I also added a flashlight function in here, um, you turn on your flashlight, and I put in a little kill house. Nothing great. Still haven't changed the uh, the movement. And we got some bots that are running around. And had a death sound for him just for the hell of it. Put some pressure on. Just for shits and grins. And you can actually go in the front door. I mean, I just screwing around right there, shooting through the windows. But when you get close enough to them, right now they just say, "I slap your ass, fool." Um, haven't actually done any damage with them or from them. Oh, reload. Do not like the movement controls. You can only go left or right or forward or backwards. You can't press two keys at one time. Because of the way that it's said they're going to do that, and that's something I really need to address pretty soon. Only 10 bad guys, but, you know, once I have the ability for them to fight back, then it'd be a little bit more of a challenge. You can change the ceiling out. But just wanted to find a little place to use the flashlight. Shoot some bad guys, that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Whenever I add the the scope in itself, um, whenever you go to, like right now, you've got the red dot scope, and so changing out to add a suppressor on. I'm gonna do that. I'm, change over to where you can actually use a rifle scope and then once you're in the, the scope mode then you can actually use your mouse wheel to um, adjust the the zoom level all right so um, the character itself I'm gonna end up having to move it to a location where I can actually find it a little bit easier instead of digging through the FPS assault pack Um, blueprint and rifle. This is called BP Rifle Character. Is the one that I'm actually editing on right now. So for the reload, whenever you hit reload, you know I've added in the functionality there. I showed this in the video yesterday. Um, but all I've done was I added a sequence note in. Small delay, play a sound. Small delay, play a sound. And I could have added that into um, animation notifies in the animation itself. And it probably would have been better, but this was quick and easy. On um, the silencer, this was just, you press H and it did this and this. That was it. So I added it in a, as a flip-flop and changing between the muzzle device, the muzzle brake, and the, um, the silencer. All you're doing is you're setting visibility of the two. Turning visibility of one on and off, and that's all you're doing and it changes the actual sound cue that's going to be played based on what you're actually doing. Put the mild delay in and then sets the, uh, the switching back and forth. I'll get there. I haven't got to it yet. I'm still kind of filling everybody in on what I did while I was off screen, which I shouldn't have been doing, but whatever. You know, I did it. Our begin play... We haven't done player death yet, so... We'll get to that eventually.
flashlight just toggling visibility back and forth crosshair widget so that um, it actually has a callable thing I can kill it by using a, um, a reference to it so that when you're actually in and this will come in handy here also you notice you got the crosshair but whatever you go to ah, damn it I still got a, a shadow to get rid of so whenever you go into this mode and aim down sights it actually gets rid of that crosshair and that's going to be part of what's going to need to be done on the other one muzzle device cast shadow no when you're using a first person character like this with no freaking body um, there's no point in casting a shadow if you don't have any freaking legs all you are is a freaking set of arms and a gun so there was no point of casting shadows of your arms and your gun so I just turned off all the shadows alright um, so for the scope function see this is all you are is a camera two arms and a weapon so we're going to want to in this case we should be able to just change your mesh hey thanks for the sub so that's what we want to do is just change the the static mesh for the scope itself since I know that um, I can actually position them correctly I've already set up the um, the attachment points correctly unlike the muscle device it, for some reason is in the wrong axis so I had to turn that one but um, let's go ahead and start working on the scope setup so we're looking through we got reload all the stuff that I did on reload I'm gonna have to come back and redo for reload empty and I will actually take this away from a keybind and make this automatic so when you run empty then you'll automatically reload crouch we'll come back to it's working but all right iron sights I don't ever plan on using slow-mo mode really you can't put your shit to where it moves all right so I'm just gonna chunk you up there iron sights the only function that this is doing while well, it's doing a couple different things but when you press right mouse right mouse button I don't know why but the creator of this decided he would break it up into three different things all happening at the same time with the keybind not sure why that's a, a thing but So, and that's the the fun of using other people's assets is pff, you got to figure out what they did and why they did it and then change it to, to make it work so right mouse button you bring a timeline and setting the field of view so that's how we're gonna actually change our zoom levels is with field of view he's actually doing it with a timeline I'm not going to I'm just going to once you get to that point it's gonna to snap to that resolution but then when you use your your mouse wheel it's gonna actually um, change your your zoom level or your field of view that's typically how um, the zoom levels are done right mouse button adding camera lag man yeah, it's okay for aesthetics and I did this for the crosshair so what we're going to have to do is come up with a keybind, which is going to be change from the red dot to the regular scope. So this could be the first thing I need to address. And right now, and even though I don't like any of these keybinds that are on here, I'm going to end up changing them. I'm just it's like the V key activates your melee attack. Who the hell would use that? But and right now H, you're having to reach too far with your hand to be able to go from your muzzle brake to your silencer. So I think I'm going to change the key binding from H to Q because Q isn't doing anything, and E. I think E for the silencer and Q for the scope. For now, 
So I'll just do to start off with keyboard Q. And all these key bindings will change. So I just got to start somewhere. So we press the Q key. What do we want to happen? Is we want to flip flop so that we can hit it once to do one thing, hit it again to do another thing. And then on that, we want to get a reference to our scope. Um, we'll start off with this and then we'll smooth it out as we go along. But gotta start somewhere. So we change from our current to the new one. And what did he call that? T4 site. So what happens now? Press Q, and I'll change it to the other one. That one just, it's got one that goes one direction and one going in the other. Is it? We'll, we'll use Y, the, no, we'll use X and try that. All right, so now if we, we ADS, we're, eh, that's not going to do. So what I want to do is whenever I ADS, I want to know that I'm using the scope instead of the red dot. This is fine for the red dot, but you see the point of aim is off big time. So we're going to go off the center of the screen and we're actually going to create a widget at this point so that we actually have a scope widget and then when we come out of it we're going to remove that widget so that would be the next thing is we're going to go ahead and um, we move up to that and then at that point this is when we want to create the widget so let's go ahead and create that widget first thing I need to do is go into my assets and let's create a new one for uh, what the hell um, textures and I need to find that if not then I'll just go right here to my discord channel I am not wanting you to go full screen I just want you to pay attention go to BBG demos and scroll up and right there, scope mask. And open original. You can also just right click on it and copy link and just put it right into your, your browser. And that'll come up to for the original. Save image as. And I'm just going to put this in here with my weapon sound files for right now. Huh. I don't have that in there. Whatever. Um, so put that in there. And now I can move Discord back out of the way, put it back in its home, and I'm going to grab my duplex image. Now I can actually go ahead and put this into a widget. UI widget folder, user interface, widget blueprint, and widget underscore uh, scope good enough for now and then we'll grab an image and that image 
we can just go right back to here, grab our texture, select it, go here, and under brush, bam. Now, well, you can do what you want. I mean, I'm, I'm, the way I'm doing it is going to allow me to uh, to make it usable for for playing. And that's what I want to do, is make it to where it works for playing. Um, because I, I'm trying to throw, I know, it being a game, I'm trying to add some level of realism in. I don't like video games that represent firearms in, a, in the wrong way. So I'm going to try to make things feel more realistic whenever possible. Um with some exceptions to make it to where yeah you can you know do one thing or another but to for the flow of the game but I really I I'm a shooter I've been shooting all my life and I've been around guns all my life and I, I hate the way guns are represented in movies and video games and that kind of stuff so when you come into it um, if right now we just put it on there, I'll actually do just like the uh, the silencer thing, where you, you move it away and come back and it's there. That way it doesn't just flip back and forth. And if you zoom in right now, we can barely see the hands, and that's one thing. And if you left it like this, for one, right now, the point of impact is wrong. It's not going to... It's, it's hitting really, really high. So we're going to have to adjust it so that whenever I right click to go in, I want it to now, now. I don't want it to just, right, for right now, as soon as I hit the button, it's going to go right into it. But I want to add a delay into it so that it does the timeline of moving to the character with a slight field of view change and start you off this way and you can adjust it and go from there so for right now we're just getting things there we'll tweak them as I go so we press the Q key we change the scope um, in the silencer you have is weapon switch on and off so what we'll do is the same thing right here I'll control C on that. So that um, we pull the weapon down and actually we want to do the same thing here. Let's break these. And we want to do this first. Alright, so we do this, and that will move everything down so it takes it out of the line of sight for the player, and then we can do this. Alright, and these have also got to be undone as well, so we'll actually do the same thing again here, and reverse it. Actually, we need to have the delay in front of it. And this will go to the delay. This will go to the delay. Again, you could use animation notifiers to do this, but... So what that's going to do here is it should let us go away, and we come back. Actually, we need to uncheck these. Because they're controlling the animation. So when I hit Q, it goes away, 
when it comes back, I got a scope on. So it doesn't look as dorky as just going bang, 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 just flipping back and forth. So then we can start working on this. Right click. What we're going to have to do is create a new variable. And at some point, I got to clean up this freaking mess. Um, use scope. And then we'll take that and shove that on the end. So it'll be true here and false on the other one. So we're using the rifle scope here, and when we hit the button again, we're not using the rifle scope. So now we can come back to Iron Sight and work from this. Using their variable here. Um, is sprinting well we can just tag it onto here um, actually what we need to do is check and with this is sprinting And running it off of a branch there as well. Is iron sight yes? Is iron sight no? Probably just tack it into right here. We'll see. And to test, it, we'll just do a print text and say hello just to see if we're in the right place. So, we come over here, let's change our scope. And it said hello. We press it, go back, and it does not say hello. Okay, so that's good. We can actually build our functions right here. So I'm actually going to build those functions in a custom event so use scope when we do this custom event we're going to create a widget get reference to the player controller widget is going to be the scope. We're then going to promote to variable and call this scope ref so we can actually kill it later using that reference. And then we're going to add to viewport And this is called use scope. That and use scope. Put that custom event in there. And if fault, we're going to get a reference to our scope ref and remove from parent. So we can actually kill that widget we go out of that mode. May actually have to put it right up here, but let's just see. Does nothing. Change the scope. Hey, what's going on, man? Alright, so the timing is off there. Oh no, you gave me an error removed from parent. You can kiss my ass. Um, yeah. Use scope. Um, the timing is wrong for the location. 
So we go in here, everything's fine. Hit Q, change the rifle scope. We're zoomed in, but as soon as I let go, we're working off of release. We don't want to work off of release. Pressed. Fault. Okay, because it's not going through the pressed. Okay. Um. Huh. I hate press and release. I always like toggle, but. Um. But we need to move this, and it has to run off of the press, not off of the release. So let's try it up there. Yeah, I try not to do much off camera. So we got our scope. All right, so then we need to go ahead and make our hands and everything else invisible. The scope crosshairs are going to be pretty much dead on. We're going to need to get rid of it after we release. So on the release side here, this is where we should need to get our scope reference and remove from parent. But we'll get rid of the hands and junk here in just a minute. One thing at a time, you know. So this is fine. Works good. Q We'll change over to our scope. Let go. It goes away. Lovely. And what is your fucking problem now? You don't like remove from parent, do you? Fine. What the hell? We will put that into the widget. Real Engine 4, you suck sometimes. Um, okay. We're going to the event tick. Because event ticks are awesome. You should use them all the time for everything. <coughs> Sarcasm. Um, so what are we doing here? On scope reference, we're creating it. Use scope. Alright, so... We'll get from use scope. We'll just cast from Oh god, I hate these character names. And we'll get player character reference. You know what? That's fine. Leave it right there, you dumbass. Um, get use scope. Run a branch node. I've used a remove from parent in the player blueprint plenty of freaking times and had no problems. But sometimes it just says, you know what? I really don't feel like dealing with your shit today. You just do it a different way. <laughs> then... If that's false, then remove from parent. Is this going to make you happy now on Unreal Engine 4? Is your butt going to get unhurt? Change of the scope. And when we let go... Yay, you did not remove from parent. You suck. Um, we need you no more. We need... we doing there? We're on a flip-flop that should have taken care of it, but it did not. So on release, we are going to set use scope to false here as well. Will that make you happy? 
change my scope. It worked. Did you give me an error? No, no error. Oh, so change to our scope. Right click to zoom in. Point of impact is pretty good overall. Come out of it. That's good. We press Q again. We go back to our red dot optic. Things working. Press H. We put our silencer on. And we can use that independently of the rifle scope. Okay, so now we need to. Yeah, we have sounds. Um, we need to. When we are using the scope, we need to get rid of. Oh, where's our freaking widget? Bastard. Um, use scope. Does it true? You know what? Make it easier. Why don't you just move this shit down so you can move left and right instead of all over the frickin' blueprint? Press the right mouse button, and we're using the scope. We need to create that widget. Use scope, create the widget, and add it to the viewport. Um, hmm. Well, that's what we want to do, is we want to do it there. I'll, I'll 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 get there. I'm not going to be messing with the timeline at all. Um, I'm just going to make shit disappear, and then whenever it's done, it reappears. If later on I want to um, use a timeline to slide into the scope and slide out of the scope, that would be nice. But for now, I want to get things working correctly first, and then make it pretty. So you do one step at a time. And right now, we don't have proper functionality. Change to my scope, crosshair, no crosshair, and then do it again. We need it to be 100% on the right mouse button. All right, so we're going to have to probably use the um, this inside of here. We don't need the scope reference anymore. Because I'm real engine four decided I didn't like it. So we're gonna set use the scope here to true. I don't think that's gonna fix it. But um yes, yes, eat ass, I know. So no problems. Change the scope. Works. It's off. And it didn't work again. Um, I mean, the timeline itself, it's working. I don't need to wor worry with the uh, the timeline. Hit the right mouse button. Hmm. I used the scope. It worked the first time. I could honestly move this off of... Um, let's get that off of there. And instead of using a sequence node to tie everything together... Got everything ripped into three different pieces here. So if I've got to, I'll actually do it the other way. And see that crosshair using crosshair reference and remove from parent, and it worked just fine. But for some reason, it just doesn't want to work now.
you see that if I'm using the scope then do that um, I don't care about the faults on that when I release I want it to and this is where it baffles me to no end this creates the widget you know if I'm using the scope then I want it to do that and see that's the same thing scope reference all right well let's um try this a different way and this is what we have before we had our scope ref right there and it just passes right through it's going to add the viewport here and here it's going to get up here um, add a viewport and from right here remove from parent so it should do that every frickin time no matter what All right, change to our scope. No widget. Fuck off, I'm running for. You just hate me. You absolutely freaking hate me, don't you? If we're using the scope, then use it. We want to use scope. and whenever we're releasing it we then want to set use scope default so that should remove the widget this should do nothing when I change the scope I get the widget I let go it goes away come back it didn't come back so why didn't you not come back I'm telling you right there to use it. Because we're not setting use scope back to true again. So we have to use scope true. Even though it's right frickin' there that's only for the first time use. We have to set it to true. But still, and you didn't redraw the frickin' widget. When I run this custom event, you are going to create that widget. You're going to set that, which is pointless, and set use scope to true. When we release the right mouse button, it sh when I press it there. God, this is pissing me off. Okay, I'm going to delete it. So, why did this one work? The crosshair reference to remove from parent and add a viewport. And it works every freaking time. Crosshair, no crosshair. Crosshair, no crosshair. Works every damn time. Change this off. And there. That's fine, but I want to create widget, remove widget. 
create, remove, create, remove. So if I actually just did this method, which is dumb, but okay. Right mouse button. When I press the right mouse button, I want to check, and I'll put a check on both of them. I don't care. Use scope. And if it is true, we are going to run that which is going to create the widget. And that widget sets that variable, or this custom event sets the variable to true. And let's actually remove the set use scope, which, which that needs to be there. We press Q, we're equipping the rifle scope, so we need to be able to do that. So we're probably going to have to go with a different variable name for this. Is scope equipped? And go from there. But um, so that is going to get rid of the widget. So we hit play. This works just fine. Equip the scope. We get the crosshair. We let go. It goes away. And we hit the button again. It just doesn't do it. And boom. Use the scope. Because it's still fault at that point. Um, let's put... the variable in the front, we're setting it true there, because the widget itself is checking to see, um, do I need to be here or not? So, that works. Why are you not redrawing the widget whenever I tell you to, to do that? When I hit the right, right mouse button, you check to see if use scope is valid. You take notes on how bad I'm failing? <laughs> because this is pissing me off. It's checking whether I can use the scope or not. And... No, because whenever I did the... Um, Uh, where was my other cross here? Um, player HUD, right here. For the cross here, this is all I did. Crosshair widget. I created a custom event, and I called that custom event. It. Where the hell am I calling it? Um. What's the flashlight? Yeah, I'm just calling it on on begin play. Um, on event begin play, it's calling the crosshair widget from the start. So it just creates the widget there on begin play. Um, I mean, technically speaking, if I wanted to, I could do the same thing and run it off event begin play and have it just running from the get-go to see if that's going to solve the problem. Um, now I've got my, my reference to it and then add a viewport, but I don't really want to add a viewport now, even though the variable for use scope is off. It's false. If I added um, right here, we'll just throw on use scope. Boom. It's going to run that custom event right off the get go. But what we're going to need to do is one thing I did not do. Actually, let's take that off. And um, uh, 
in here, instead of getting player controller there, let's actually run that to the custom event. So we, we tag that in here. And then from there, get our, our player controller reference here, maybe. And if I have to, I'll run the um, the custom event up top, and then I'll do the, the references here, like I did with the crosshair. Um, so, see, the crosshair disappears whenever I go to ADS. Let's put the scope on. It goes away. So, let's actually do that. Um, Delete that, delete that, delete that. And let's go ahead and I'm gonna grab that and just throw it up here with the rest of them. So I'm even gonna get rid of that. So this looks just like that one for the player HUD and for the crosshair. All doing the exact same thing. And then my HUD reference, scope reference, everything is all good. And then just call that here on begin play. It should immediately go away, but I don't want it to do it like that. So it's not visible. All right. So this is still going to just replace our scope and not do the, the widget just yet. Um, and here, all we need is our scope reference. And at this point, all we need to do is add to viewport. And the bottom one remove from parent here and this should just so we have some some viable references in here Actually, yeah, should be able to get rid of these here in just a minute because I'll just go back to the widget blueprint and get rid of the event tick. So it's good. We'll change to our scope. But why didn't you do it? Why? Why didn't you do it? The first time, it works. Let go. It goes away, go back into it, it didn't. All I want you to do is add a viewport and remove from viewport. That's all you need to worry about there. And at this point, it's got to set those variables anyway. Sometimes things move along lovely and I have no problems. And then sometimes I'm Engine Florida says, you know what? You don't need to be doing anything tonight. So, 
on all the time and don't want it on all the time. Why is it on all the freaking time? was already added to the screen. Yeah, no shit. And it shouldn't have been. Um, let's actually go in here and remove add viewport here. So on begin play, it's not there. That works fine. Change the scope. Comes on. Goes off. And does not come back on. And the only reason why we need that variable there is we have to check it there. So use that. We're setting it on when we install it, we're using it. When we remove it, that's when we turn it off. So That should work fine. Yeah, okay. So now we can get rid of the, the hands, the scope, the all the other visible things so that we can actually not see them. So make them not visible and make them visible. Oh my god. Um so we have to do that on right mouse button. And I'm just going to envelop all that shit. Make it clean later. So when we're doing this, we now need to get um, reference to our arms. And weapon should encompass all of that. So if we do a set visibility here, and hell. I was bound to determine that I wasn't going to let Unreal Engine 4 win. Sometimes it does. I'm already getting a freaking headache. So what are we forgetting to remove? So this is fine. We're not doing anything. Change the scope. Um, why do I see writing on the right hand side? And oh, I'm going to get rid of the scope too. It's for some reason is not going along with that. So, that still works just fine. Change the scope out. You fucker. Damn it. Um... I'm going to have to redo the the silencer mesh reference here. Because they have two different freaking the way that the damn things are, are created. The silencer points in a freaking different direction. And if you put one on, the other one's going to be backwards. And um, For right now, I'm just going to use that one to turn it off. I mean, I can go back in and put a, a variable system in, but this is going to make it to where if I 
use the frickin' silencer, then I'm gonna see the silencer. See, everything's good, everything's gone. Everything's working, and if it changed back, but let's put the silencer on. Everything's fine. Change the scope. Now I see the silencer. So I'm going to actually have to create a variable whenever I do the um, the swap for the silencer. That'd probably be my easiest and fastest way. Oh, I do a lot of cussing. The joys are getting older. Um, do 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 shit. Um, still gotta do the grenade throw and melee and add damage and replace that friggin' movement control. Silence all. Um, so yeah, I just need to inject in here a new variable, use silencer, and just chuck it in here somewhere. Life was better when I was in, in the service. It was simpler. You knew that um, during the week you got up, you did PT, you know, you went to chow, you went to work, you know, peacetime versus, you know, other, you know, you had a routine, you had a schedule. Of course, I could always just go to prisons. Same freaking thing, right? Um, just run a branch node here, and use silencer. Fork off. There we go, and then. I have to move this down. No, go right there. Plug you in there, and you in there. So if we're using the silencer, then we need to change our visibility. Yeah, orange is not my thing. Here in our state, in South Carolina, we have Clemson and, and USC, uh, the Gamecocks and Clemson. And Clemson is orange, and Gamecocks is like a burgundy color. And yeah, if you wear orange, and people just naturally call you like a Clemson fan. So, you know, they usually associate um, in jokes uh, when you see prisoners wearing the orange jumpsuits. Hey, look, Clemson fans. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's a South Carolina thing. So I need muzzle device and silencer. So here, if I am using the silencer, yeah, when I do this, when I go to make it, make it so, we'll do this and this. And connect view silencer is true. We do this if it is false. And this is going to be screwy looking, but I'm going to do it anyway for now. Again, make it work and then make it pretty. All right, so we are using the 
silencer. We need to Um, yes, using a silencer, yes. We need to turn off visibility of it there. And then, if it is yes, we need to turn on visibility. If it is no, we're doing this and this. I'm half paying attention right now. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So now if we go, that's fine. Change the scope without the silencer. That's fine. Let's put the silencer on. And it's fine. I did something right. How about that? looks dorky in, in the selective viewport, but if you go in this way, put the silencer on, yes, that's a Hollywood um, silencer sound. Take the scope off, take the silencer off. Reload. Um, he's still doing a, a tap, so I'm going to have to do a, an additional sound there at the end of the reload. That, okay. Now, we want automatic reload system, but I will do that later to hit reload. Yeah, okay. So that's good. Um, it are working. So we're not making so much noise. Let's put the, the Hollywood on. Put the scope on. Zoom in. Now, let's add some functionality of the mouse wheel. Let's make everything even more complicated. Yay! I do things right every now and then, you know, it does happen. I'm gonna clean this up just a little bit and then we'll add the mouse wheel functionality in. You know, I almost like that. We're gonna leave that alone. Um, okay, so when we are in scope mode, no, I can't leave that alone. You gotta move over some. Um, what we need to do is allow a field of view change and you see what he chose to do here was oh, well he's using that to change the field of view I want to use the mouse wheel so we need Let's just go over here and do mouse wheel axis. I'm dyslexic on which one's up and down. Mouse wheel up and down. Well, we're going to use both. Mouse wheel axis. Um, a lot of times, yeah, I actually have... Um, uh, a checklist that's uh, a text file. Since I have three monitors, um, I have like, well, you can't see it now, but there's just a, a folder that I keep on my, my desktop on the left monitor that has like, what am I going to do on the stream? What are my resolutions? What does my, this project need? That kind of stuff. On this one, I'm just kind of spitballing. And mouse wheel up, mouse wheel down. And what are you doing? You're just getting a camera.
and setting the field of view. So you see right here, what is your default is 90. So we have to make sure that um, when we come out of scope mode, if we need to change it, we can come back to 90. Um, I'm dyslexic on up and down on the mouse wheel, which way you roll it, which way is up, which way is down. Oh yeah, I'm always unorganized. So we need to branch it. A lot of times I'll actually know, okay, I said I would do this on this particular time and stream and this and that. I, I normally know what I need to do, but I just don't care sometimes. <laughs> but um, we need to use scope. Um, but like if I know for Monday I'm going to be streaming on so and so Monday comes even though this is Friday or Saturday or whatever Monday comes I know what I got to do and I usually just do it you know alright so for our field of view we want to change the field of view and I'm going to experiment with a little bit here and there, and then I'll dial it in and make it better. Um, set field of view. Huh. And there's already a camera settings float value. Um. What there's a yeah okay well I'm gonna do it this way anyway and what I'm gonna need to do is set it up so that um and and again I will dial it in as I need to here. setting a field of view, default is 90. Um, let's um, get field of view. Um, where is that? I'm assuming that's a default variable. So, at this, what we're going to do is drag these guys out. So we're going to take this value and we're going up. Let's do plus. Float plus float. And the bottom one, float minus float. So up and down, we're going to go with that. Right or wrong, we're going to roll with it. And I'm going to change the value for testing to 10. Every time we hit the mouse wheel, we bump it. We're going to go get our current, and we'll have to come back later and cap it as well so that you know, we don't go over. And this is going to be tragic at best. So I do this, put our scope on. We're using it. Scroll back, zooms in. Scroll forward, zooms out. It's probably backwards. We just inverted the world. So, yeah. We need to clamp it at a certain value. Unless you like that view of the world. Um, I, I kind of like that, and oh, all right, it snaps back, so I don't have to fix that part. So that's good. So let's just set a, a um, in here. We're just gonna go in between, and we'll set it to um, 
set a minimum and maximum value. The cheesy way, yes, you could use. We well, could use a clamp. You can do, yeah, whatever. I like visible things, and I'm old and set in my ways and a lot of shit too. So, um, I'll move you back as needed. So we're gonna get this value and. Maximum value float if it get to be greater than and we're gonna need more room because I'm gonna have to put a branch in. You just go over there for now, you'll be fine. Because then we gotta do a set value. Um, Yeah, there are better ways of doing this. I'm just not going to do it. Because <laughs> I am that much of a shithead. I want it visual right now, and I'll come back and, like I said, I want to make things work, and then come back and fix them later. So we're going to check, and then we're true... So here, we need to break that, put that in there. What the hell are we doing? Um, Um, let's go ahead and do float is less than then set it to um, but what is this value going to be? Um, if we're on false we'll just do that no, we'll come back to that um, what is our value going to be? Um, our max value, our default is 90. Max value, we'll just double it. I don't know. Um, so if it's more than that, then set it to that. If not, then set it to that. Okay, we're good. Um, we'll shove that in there. So we'll just take this one and shove it directly over to there and connect that to there. Vaults will go to there, and you asshole, go there. You go to there. If it is, we'll set um, we'll try 40 here, and connect that to there. All right, this looks confusing as shit, but um. Basically, all we're doing is we're checking our field of view, and when we activate the mouse wheel, go down, we're going to take 10 away, we're going to check to see if it's um, less than 40. If it is less than 40, we're going to lock it back at 40, and then set our field of view. 
but if it's not less than 40 we'll just go ahead and plug it in and let it run same thing for top we're clamping it out at, at 180 just doing this in a visual way before coming back in and saying go fuck yourself um, yes yes connect you to you and you to you I'm so sorry I forgot to connect pins are you happy now thank you so I'm going here throw on a silencer that works chain scopes that's our max zoom out or max zoom in rather is all right let's go the opposite direction here so zoom in pull the mouse wheel back to zoom in you know what to solve my dyslexia problem here um, No print text. Up, oh, you moron. And this is down stupid. Um, it's very important that you do it that way. You know, you're, you you criticize yourself in your your print text, so that's good. Mouse wheel does nothing. Let's change the scope. Pull it back is down. Okay, back is down. Forward is up, so back is down. All right, so down. What are what are we doing when we're down? We're zooming in. So that's default. Pull back one, two. We get two marks. So it's taking ten away, and. I'm confusing myself with my own freaking spaghetti. Pull down. I'm taking 10 away. And let's change this to since 40. But I pulled the mouse button down two times. And that zooms in and stops. 90 take away 20 is not. 40. So let's just narrow that one down too. Just seems backwards to me. One, two. Pull it forward. One, two. We actually don't. Um, let's leave ninety. So we don't want to change it at all. Um, so we clamp it at ninety. We don't want to go less. We don't want to like zoom away. We want to zoom in, not out. But when we are not at our default value of 90, we can move back and forth. But we'll stop at 90. So let's try changing this value to, I don't know, 10. The joy of Unreal Engine 4. Playing around with little shit. Four, and that's it. 
That's as far as we can zoom in. So, where does he have his setup? Because when we do that, we're getting some zoom already. So I want to kind of stop it there. What is his zoom level? He has it set in his timeline. Value of 50. Okay. Shits and grins. We'll try that. 50. 50. Doesn't seem right, but what do I know? I'm old and I'm shit. Yeah, okay. So we can zoom in and then we can zoom back out no more than the normal. So that works. And we can get rid of that. And that should be good. Should be good enough for uh, a game built in about five hours' time of just screwing around. Alright, so we can run around. We can go to our red dot optic and shoot. Our initial crosshair looks like crap, but I don't care. We can change over, add a silencer on. We have new sounds. We can reload what sound. We can change our optics. And we can zoom in with our optic. So let's go ahead and throw in one of our target dummies. There is no nav mesh balance on this map. So he's not going to move anywhere. So we actually have something to aim at here. Um, so we can use regular. He dies, he makes noise, he goes away. Go away, thank you. So let's throw another one in over here. So now we got two target dummies. Aim here. Change our scope. And while we're at it, let's put a silencer on. And zoom in. Take the scope back off. We'll have to play with the timing a little bit. And take the silencer back off. Probably what I'll end up doing is going back in and tying them in with uh, animation notifies and do it that way because there are animations even though we don't have any bodies or legs. I appreciate it. I've done a better video of doing the scope like this in the past, but yeah, I was going to do it anyway, so I might as well do it in the stream. Me and numbers and headaches and that kind of shit. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do save all, save selected, and we'll jump into the kill house. It dark. Turn on the flashlight. Anybody home? Load. Let's go to quiet mode. Throw a scope on. You can always come back in later and set it up to where when you make a headshot, um, you can actually tell what part you're hitting. Yeah, 
yeah. Me no like mathy. Math sucks. Oh! Oh, don't, don't you touch me. I will kill you. Uh, I did kill you. Never mind. Um, so, yeah. Um, I guess what I could do really quickly, and I'll take a break for a little bit. If you guys want to see more, then I'll just pick up the stream again. I'm ready for a damn smoke break. Maybe help get rid of this friggin' headache. Flashlight off, and we go. And we'll go back to the other demo map. Um, oh, test map, excuse me. Um, see, I just had it in my head of what I was going to do. Oh, the line trace, and say whatever. You're doing a line trace? Do, 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 right here. This is my shooting line trace. And what we're doing is we're just doing our little homebrew um, particle effect, and we're applying damage. But what I would like to do is that's good what if we pull yeah I need to quit though I've got freaking nicotine patches right here I've got nicotine lozenges right here I got an e-cig sitting right here I got a couple of them sitting right here oh god too much effort to go reach for the, the rum I don't have any coke so I'd have to do it with orange soda which doesn't sound bad actually <laughs> um, hit bone name you have this in the, the break hit result. What's that happening, bro? Um, you know, you, nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Um, no multiplayer in this one there, bro. So, yeah, this is just... I'm by request doing FPS stuff. <laughs> so I need to put a sound on for the suppressor. But I wanted to switch over to um, the actual um, bone hit name. Just for shites and grins. Let's do a, um, just tack it on here. Yeah, John's got some pretty cool shit, man. Let's do that, and you get the hell back over here. Don't want to get the hit bone name. Well, I was playing around with once before, and Sorry. Like calf L. Make a headshot, and you know if it's a headshot, then do more damage. Do damage based on the um, the actual body parts. You can see reports back. That was a head hit. Pelvis. Might as well instead say penis or nut shot. You know. What I did for the nut shot video. So reporting back the actual body part. The reason why I'm doing it that way, I want to see what it is. Because at some point I want to look back into um, not just ragdoll, but um, in fact, if you shoot somebody in the arm, their arm goes flopping around, and or I've actually seen where somebody else had done them, where you shoot them in the arm, and you do, you know, a good hit on the arm, the freaking arm falls off. Or you shoot them in the head, their head pops off. And, you know, just had particle effects and shit like that, add some gore to it, so you're popping some gourds. You know, I did one, I said, with uh, the nut shot, where you shoot someone right there, and it plays a different sound. Yeah, just like you shoot him in the arm and the arm flails back and then it comes back to normal again. I don't like these characters though. I'm gonna end up changing these characters. No! Yes, I am gonna change these things. <laughs> but if you make a headshot, I wanna like if you do 
a good clean headshot with a certain thing or whatever and set up a condition the head just pops and guys are in blood yeah I, I may have I, I think I do have them don't know I'll have to look um Other dumb shit like um, reactive targeting. They get really annoying to see none every time you pull the trigger, but um, I'll play around with that sometime. With the hit bone name or hit components and other shit like that. But that was really all I wanted to cover on this video. And unless you guys wanted to see anything else. You know, I'm, like I said, this is just screwing around. <laughs> Too much noise. <laughs> hey, I was on a pinch trying to find a decent, non Hollywood sounding frickin' suppressed rifle. And that ain't it. You'd be amazed how many shitty free sound files there are out there. So I don't like the fact that the uh, the scope is all over the freaking place. But I didn't design this shit. I'm just using other people's shit here, just trying to make it work, slapping free assets together and making a freaking game out of it. Um. In fact, most of you know me, I'll do shit like this. I'll work on a project for a couple of days and I'll just delete the damn thing. But it's absolutely going to annoy the shit out of me, this movement mode. And I keep saying I need to change it, and yet I don't change it. Yes, I would need more than one death sound, but as annoying as it is, it's something as a placeholder. I also need to go ahead and at some point set up the, uh, the bots to shoot back. I am not an AI person. Honestly, um, if I was going to build a first-person shooter game, uh, I've got other templates that are not free that are easier to work with, but it wasn't bad. But for just a little bit of screwing around, I don't think this is too bad to... Got to change the um, the impacts. Like I, said, I don't have all the uh, the stuff in here. Getting a lot of placeholders. When you're trying to build a game with all free assets, you know, I've got a lot of paid assets that I can just call on and, and use. But it's one of those things where. The whole objective of this was... Oh, God, that was terrible. Yeah, I don't do lighting. I Since I'm terrible at it, I just don't do it at all. Um, all I did was... Um, rotated the sky around. Oh, that's cool. But it's not like me to, to work on anything that's not a multiplayer game. You know, trying to piece things together and keep putting my other project off to the side and only working on it here and there. But this was a free asset and the other one was a free asset and you're just slapping this shit together by request. But as I said, we got a scope. Oh, we didn't do the hand grenade. No, I'll worry about that for another video. Um, the gr Get back up there. Grenade. Now I'm still gonna clean up the blueprint and kind of shit. 
This grenade throw was set up on G. I'm not going to see it on this map, so... So the um, the animation is there. Just need to create the projectile for the grenade and the effects and all that kind of stuff. Made very slow progress in this video. This was not a uh, a fast build of anything. It just felt like streaming while I was just screwing around with this. This is not even a serious project for me. This is just something that someone said, hey, could you do something with FPS? I'm like, uh, I, 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 probably, you know. So I've never done anything FPS-wise. Played around with it here and there, but nothing serious. Because I don't like not having a body. When you, you're playing, you look down, and you got all your shadows turned off because you're just a set of arms floating in the damn sky. And yeah, I can go in here and actually have the um, spot to put in a mesh, but I don't have one. What am I going to put in there? UE4 skeleton? Or UE4 mannequin? And then make the bones go away so we get rid of the arms yeah I just I'm not a fan of FPS stuff I start up widget references um, I, I like third-person stuff for for the most part but I know that you're using um, the combination of first-person third-person so that you actually have a physical body. And, and I mean, I can do it, it's just that I don't have the models to work with. I mean, I, I have the Cindy Studio stuff, but they're, I, I don't have the time or desire to mess with them. Um, yeah, I'll, you send me a copy of it, and um, you know, just pick a day, and I'll, I'll do a full-on video on it. So, you know I me, mean, I'll try to avoid showing any blueprint stuff on other people's things. Um, um, I don't know. Like I said, mix, I, I don't have a lot of experience with FPS stuff. And like I said, it's because I like the third person deal. But I don't have a set of arms to go with the Cindy characters. Um, so I can't just replace the floating arms with, with their stuff. Um, I've only got like two sets of arms for all of that. Unless the... Oh, there was another one that was... Um... See, that's cool. So I might be able to learn something too, but... Uh, yeah, when I, sh I show other people's assets, I try not to show the, the blueprints. But like on this one, try, you know, this couple of videos here, just showing, making a gamer free shit, but do a quick glance over here. Um, I still haven't gone back into my thing to fix the, the chair thing. I know that I have it working in another, another one and that I can do it. I just haven't done it. I've been screwing with this stupid FPS thing. <laughs> I don't know why, but I've been having fun with it. I mean, I'm not going to release any game with it. I'm just screwing with it. It's not a serious project for me. But I've just been having fun playing around with it. I haven't even played any other games. Which I like to play games whenever I get done working on them. But... but I still need to purge projects again. see here back to my temporary town just a quick showing of this thing get a look at that um, uh, 
the foul language filter. I, I didn't know it was on, but I need to look at seeing if I need to change things. I don't know what words you guys are saying that are getting filtered. Um, I personally don't care about what language you use. It's not like, you know, yeah, I mean, just, just normal conversation stuff. It's, you know, I dropped the F-B- F-bomb on a, on the reg, you know. Oh, for God's sake, would you just load the frickin' map? Yeah, I'm gonna have to do something about this frickin' cable on this damn headset. I ran over it with the damn chair. Why does it keep going to there? So yeah, it was just a, um, oh, damn. See, I still got the damn um, capsule collision still turned on. So I need to go back in here and fix the chair thing after I got it figured out. I just haven't done it yet. Um, capsule component, hidden in game. But yeah, this is, you know, this is my thing here. I need to spend some quality time in it and not working with this FPS project. Because um, I want to make this into restaurant with plenty of chairs to sit in. Still considering whether or not to add hunger and thirst. You can come in here and buy a hot dog and, you know, candy bar, or hit the soda machine, that kind of shit. But, um, get rid of the pay phones and put some ATMs in. Um, start working on mission systems. Moderators system was working pretty good. Um, still got to fix the teleport issue for um, the moderators not being able to teleport into the um, the observation room for the the jail. But you know the. Dancing is working good. The masks are working pretty good. Um, I got to fix the um, the hair is sticking through issue later. But open the phone. The animation for that works good. Need to redo the uh, the mask thing. I don't want to have or the dancing. I don't want to have to hit the change dance button. I had it working before without it, and I just need to rewrite that section of it. And I gotta finish the save game. And I gotta finish the um, um, the main menu. And I gotta finish. Yeah, so many things I gotta finish on this. Good. Funny glasses. I think I ever make all the widgets all over and. do some other things with the phone and stuff too, but yeah, like I said, it's a work in progress. Do a little bit of time here and there. I thought there was a gate here. Yeah, maybe I'm thinking about, no, I'm thinking about the, the yard over here actually has a gate. Soccer ball, you can kick. Or, no, I didn't enable that. Um, football, you can pick up and throw. Yeah, it's just one little thing at a time. Just trying to put it all together and, you know, get it to where. All the little things work. Just do one one thing at a time. And you haven't loved until you've seen the UE4 mannequin doing a twerk. I know this isn't the UE4 mannequin, but still. Still gotta import the other stuff, the music. Yeah, I know. I'll probably use a different um, 
uh, sound file for the background. But um, still got to figure out how I'm going to implement this. I still want to do this. I have a um, the <laughs> you know, like the the pool float race, whether it's on ground or whatever, kind of like a Mario Kart thing. Male characters get this lovely um, rubber ducky float, and the female characters get the uh, the unicorn. One thing I did was just change it to where it just plays a, a non really moving animation and out of the uh, freaking flow to it. But if you can imagine, you know, like a Mario Kart inspired race where you're racing around in a uh, freaking rubber ducky. Well, see, I think it's kind of just as funny to... Well, I, I won't be doing it on the asphalt and grass and stuff like that. I'll put, like, a, a pond or something like that and where you're actually skating around on top of the pond. Then um, whenever you come out of it, you just go back into walking again. You'll be able to drop in... Instead of bananas, why don't you drop... Um, um, uh, what was the, the, the candy bar? Um... Baby Ruth. If anybody gets the the movie reference from that, um, um, from Caddyshacks, whenever um, someone threw the the Baby Ruth candy bar into the swimming pool, and of course somebody sees it, thinks it's a freaking turd in the uh, the the pool, so they have to drain the entire pool and disinfect everything. And of course, the guys like. Oh, it's no problem. It was just a baby Ruth who takes a bite out of it and the woman passes out. Yeah, good classic movie stuff. So as you're, you're riding around the, um, in the, the rubber ducky thing, you could drop baby Ruth on the ground maybe. Still gotta fix that shit. It's gonna bug me until I actually fix it, but I won't actually do it right now. I'll do it probably next week sometime. Yeah, I gotta love the classic movies like that. That and the original Airplane. Airplane 2, uh, Naked Gun, and then you had 2 and 3, meh. But. A lot of little planes for this. I stood up to dance and then sat right back down again. That's cool. Um, so a lot of little tweaks I got to do on it, but a lot of things that I want to do here and there. Uh, you know, got the the zombie thing. Shits and grin. I'll throw in a. Um... So I want to do the infected mode, but I want to set it up to where. Um, Gonna throw three over here. I'm gonna get rid of them after. Do a little quick demo in here. We'll do waypoint one here, and waypoint two. We'll put down here, and then we'll run and hide. Oh, of course, Mel Brooks stuff. No, I didn't, didn't add crouching. Well, it's kind of hard to see them. The zombies are walking down the street. They'll go from waypoint one to waypoint two, and I'll do a whole different thing on that. But it was just a quick test to get them to um, see if I can get it to spawn correctly. So they're gonna. I gotta get over the fence. Yay. peek out the window. Yep, there they go. They're walking down the street, and there should be two more not far behind. When I get to waypoint two, they'll just stop and hang out right there. There's the other two. 
Hey bitches, what's up? Oh, y'all ugly. Y'all need a kiss? <laughs> Give me some love, baby. That's not love. That's herpes. <laughs> I don't want your herpes. I don't want your coronavirus. Of course, I don't have death set up here either, but... It just killed me. Um, yeah, that was going to be part of the... Um, the infected mode. You've shoot him with a hypodermic syringe and yeah I'm ready to actually drop the stream so I can go take a full break and then I may mean, actually play a game you know <sighs> fucking sad and depressing it's Saturday Saturday night 10 30 p.m. yeah boy I'm ready to go out and hit the club check out the ladies and no I'm I'm sitting here hanging out with you mofos and talking about, yeah, I think I'm going to go play a game. I used to have a life once. <laughs> once. <laughs> All right, y'all check on, check me out on Discord. Um, I am going to get out of here and I'm not going to do anything else with um, a roll engine tonight. I wish I could get my hands back on it. I can't find my, my discs for them. I have two copies of it, but Battlefield 2. To me, the whole franchise went to shit after Battlefield 2. Because they, they went to that... Whole deal of, you know... Money, 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 money. I know everybody wants money, but... Um, I like to play games sometimes that um, are relaxing. Um, so I'm probably going to do either The Hunter, which is really slow-paced, or uh, I might do some Astroneer. Hell, I might even, even fire up Raft. I don't know. Um, on Astroneer, I'm still learning all the different things for the cheat modes, you know, for creative mode. Um, Eagle and I went in there and if you guys want me to stream some Astroneer, let me know. Um, we went through and set up a full base with um, a storage area set up specifically for housing one of everything in the game uh, that is craftable. And when you're playing creative mode, you can dupe things. Well, I didn't realize you can hit... Um, well, in fact, I might just do a video just so I can showcase the the way to use creative mode for people who just want to use creative mode. Because um, in creative mode, you can still go out there and harvest things. You don't have to use the, the dupe feature or the, the spawn features and things like that. I think I might do some um, some of um, that game so I can show how to use it, because I, I, I didn't know how to use it. There was no, hey, this is how you use this, this is how you get that, and... So I'm gonna do one just showing how to use the um, the creative mode. I do have um, a normal playthrough and a co-op playthrough, but if anybody wants to play, yeah, the original Battlefield 2, that was awesome with the add-on packs because I liked being able to use the uh, zip line. But yeah, if anybody wants to play, let me know in Discord. Um, you can jump in and join me on um, Astroneer. I've, like I said, I've got that one base set up with that's pretty much nothing but cooperative. Uh, I was thinking about doing another separate creative mode because I want to try setting up a amusement park themed arena where you've got um, you know you, whenever you're because this the game was made with Unreal Engine four, so that's another reason why I like it as well. But um, for driving, maybe driving the buggy around on an off-road race course, or um, 
doing because you know whenever you, you're going down a hill your character can start sliding well maybe set up a, a ski slope kind of deal and see if you can jump and land and not die in the process of course you don't die in unless you turn off that feature of creative mode but you know what I'm saying just make an amusement park just a goof off world that I don't care about anything just make fun things so that's that's what I want to do also but I think what I'll do is I'll do a stream where I'm actually talking about creative mode and how to use the features so thanks for watching guys love you all and not just when it's cold catch me on discord I'm gonna get out of here and get something to eat I have some bold peanuts that I need to go heat up I'm gonna eat them and probably play some astronaut here all right we'll see you guys <laughs>